Welcome back to the channel today, everybody. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to drift on wheels. So the first thing you guys wanna go ahead and do is grab a simple car. The car that I'm using for this video is going to be the BMW E36. You can go ahead and purchase the same car right here. So once you have this car, I'll go ahead and put the tune code down in the description or I'll show it up on screen right now. Go ahead and get this tune code on the car, get your game set up and get ready to go because today, you're going to class and we're learning how to drift. So with that being said, let's get into it. So um, what I suggest for people that are trying to learn these techniques, I suggest that you come to this uh, Forza Horizon Festival over here because it has a really good spot for beginner drifters. Basically this spot has like two crate stacks that you can drift around and learn like the basics. So. The first thing we're going to go over is how to do an entry on wheel. Now, this will be different for everybody, depending. OK, let me turn her off. But like I said, this will be different for everybody, depending on if you have a clutch, if you have, you know, if you do have a shifter, if you use paddle shifters. So like, you know, based based off your setup, this will be different. But for me, I have a sequential shifter. My e-brake is or my brake is set to e-brake or at least it should be. Let me go ahead and double check that just to make sure. OK, it's not set. So my e-brake is going to be set to my brake and then my actual brake will just be set to X. But yeah, so like I said, everyone's setup will be different. So that'll determine how you drift. But the first and most important thing we're going to go over is your entry. So what you want to do is go ahead and pull over here and we're going to practice your entry. So. Okay, so the first thing we're going to be learning how to do is we're going to be learning entries. Okay, so basically you want to come to any spot where you have a little bit of room to move the car. And the first thing I'm going to show you guys is the e-brick entry. So you don't want to try to get a lot of speed when learning this. I would say go like uh, the same amount of speed that I go. So you guys will see that in just a second. But with the e-brick entry, you use the e-brick to break the rear tires loose so that you can start sliding into the corner. And then there's also another way that you can entry into a corner and that's called weight shifting, which with weight shifting, you'll snap the car away from the corner. So you'll counter store away from the corner before entering it. And then you'll turn into the corner. So I'll go ahead and show you guys how to do an e-brake entry. And then I'll show you guys how to do a, a weight shifting entry. And I'll also give you guys tips on both of those. So here's an example of a weight shift entry or Actually, let's do the e-brick entry, All right? E-brick entry. So e-brick entry, you'll just e-brick. So yeah, e-brick entries are pretty cool, pretty easy. That's what a lot of people do. Literally, all you got to do is just, you know, give it a little bit of gas, press the e-brick, you'll get sideways, OK? <clears throat> so that's how you do the e-brick entry. All you got to do is literally, you know, you don't even have to counter steer. Just turn in or have it in mind where you want to turn and be turning that way, you know, and tap the e-brake. All right, so that's how you do an e-brake entry. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a weight shift entry. So weight shift entries are a little bit more advanced. Um, once you get good at doing e-brake entries, then you can start moving over to weight shift entry. So a weight shift entry will be like this. Your counter steer away from the corner and then you'll turn into the corner just like that. All right. Now that one was a little like, uh, I'd say advanced because you know, I did counter steer quite well there. Let me kind of make it a little, look a little bit easier for beginners. So for beginners, I would say just drive straight, give it a quick whip like that and then throttle into the corner, okay? So that's how you do that right there. That's an e-brake um, entry and a weight shift entry. So the next thing on the list, I actually have a whole list of things. So the next thing on the list will be uh, counter steering. So counter steering is like one of the most important things um, when it comes to drifting, because that's what's going to hold you in place while you're sideways. So basically, after you enter the corner, you want to turn like after you turn into the corner. So if you do an e-brake entry, you're going to turn into the corner or you might do a quick little snap to the left and then turn in. But when you turn into the corner, if you don't turn the other way, your car will spin out. So with that being said, to avoid your car spinning out when you turn into the corner, you have to counter steer so you can keep your car balanced while it's sideways. So for example, as soon as I enter the corner, if I don't 
counter steer, I just spin, okay? So if you enter a corner and you don't, you know, if you if you, if you even try to go in a circle and don't counter steer, you won't do it. So what I would say to start practicing counter steers is just do a donut. So what you can do to practice your counter steer is just come right here, break the rear tires loose, and then remember, don't give it too much throttle. If you give it too much throttle, you'll spin out. Like for example, too much throttle will lead to this. No matter how much you counter steer, you can't avoid, you know, spinning out on full throttle. So try to not full throttle it. And once you can get consistently around this like three times at once, then I'd say you're ready for the next step, which is holding a line, throttle control and things of that nature. So I'm gonna go ahead and go around this and you guys can just kind of like watch my hands and see how I'm doing it. Like you still want to turn in while you're in the corner to keep that angle. And if you're losing your angle, you know, you want to go ahead and give it a little bit more throttle and uh, steer in and then counter steer just to keep it uh, sideways. Because for example, if you only counter steer, like let's say I only counter steer. So if I just only counter steer like that, you know what I'm saying? You're more than likely to spin out. So while you're drifting, you want to be turning into at the same time. So instead of just counter steering, you want to go ahead and hold on, hold on. Okay, so instead of just counter steering, what you want to do is every time you feel like you're losing angle, you just want to turn in a little bit. So every time I'm losing angle, I just turn in, give it a quick feather of the throttle like that. So let me go ahead and show you guys a clean um, three runs around this real quick so I can focus. All right, here we go. So this will be number one. And if you ever feel like you're about to spin out, just literally lightly let off the gas. You don't want to fully let off the gas. It'll make your car grip up suddenly and kind of snap around. So if you ever feel like you're, you know, um, about to spin out, just let off the gas. When you let off the gas, what it does is it allows your tires to grip up because when you're, you know, uh, when you're, when your rear tires are, you know, loose and have broken traction, um, they have like way less grip than they would if you, you know we're at a lower speed or if they weren't spinning so letting off the gas helps you grip up a little bit so that you don't you know get too much angle and if you see yourself spinning out or getting close to spinning out you may want to dial back a little on the throttle for that car um because you know that's a bad sign if you're spinning out or getting close to spinning out like i was right there that's just an example of giving it too much throttle but you know it happens to the best of us even when you guys get good you'll still make mistakes um, the next thing on this list is going to be holding the line. So I kind of already went over that basically holding the line. Um, basically for holding lines, you got to know how to transition. So let me go over transitioning. So for a transition, um, what you want to do to practice your transitions is go around here, right? And then you want to practice basically shifting your entry. So boom you'll do an entry into a different corner the same way you would do if you um, had initiated. The only thing is um, when you're transitioning, nine times out of 10, you do not need the e-brake. So when you transition, don't use the e-brake. Um, if you need to use the e-brake, go ahead. Cause like, you know, you can, for example, if you need to use the e-brake, you could do something like this. You know, you could e-brake into your initial corner. Then you could come around. And then what you could do is you could just give the e-brake like a light tap going in like that, you know, just to start off. And then once you get, <clears throat> and then once you get better, what you want to do is give it a, you know, a weight transfer uh, transition. So transitions without transitions, you will not be able to hold a line. Like you'll be able to drift in a circle. You might be able to do a couple donuts, figure eights, maybe, um, but you won't be able to hold like a nice line in the real world like, you know, on tracks and stuff in the game. So basically what you want to do is this for the transition. So transitions are pretty simple. You just let off the gas a little bit, but not all the way. If you let off the gas all the way in a transition, your car will uh, get really snappy because of the grip. So you just want to let off a little like this and then reapply. Basically, you're just transferring the weight. So, you know, you'll give it a good throttle, let off a little, and then kind of, you know, reapply. You don't want to let off all the way, like right there, I just let off, which is kind of risky. You don't want to do that. So you just let off a little, 
reapply. This car is a little bit more forgiving though, and that's why I had you guys pick this car. But when you get to like cars with like a little bit more horsepower, when you let off, it'll be a little bit more snappy. Like, let me see if I can try to give you an example of a snappy transition. So let's say I let off all the way. Okay, yeah, this car is really, really forgiving, but that's how you want to do it though. You definitely want to, you know, just let off, boom, you know, same thing with like right here. I'll let off and then give it more gas. Let off, give it more gas. Let off, give it more gas. See, maybe in this game you could let off the gas a little bit because I do let off, but um, with like, like I said, with like better cars, they won't be so forgiving. But with this one, you can get away with it. And then in the future, once you're really good, you'll see what I mean. So that's how you do transitions and things of that nature. Now we're going to talk about holding a line, which would probably be like, one of the hardest things to learn. So let's go ahead and switch our location really quick because over here you can hold a line, but it's not really like that much of a challenge. So now that we've learned the basics, let's go ahead and bump things up a notch. But if this seems too hard for you guys, then I'll show you guys another thing that you can do. So what I suggest, if you guys are at this Forza Horizon Festival, I would practice holding a line around these bigger um these bigger drift spots like right here to this freeway entry so right here you want to be in third gear with this tune and just practice you know practice counter steering and just holding a line up that thing like that right and then what you want to do after you go up is you want to practice doing an entry into here and holding a line just like that now as you guys see you guys are probably like, wait, why did he do his entry like that? Yeah, I didn't use the e-brake and I didn't weight transfer. When you get really good, you can do things like that. You know what I'm saying? You can just kind of like power over. But for like beginners, I don't suggest powering over into a drift because you have a higher chance of spinning out if you don't really, you know, know the feel of the car, if you don't have that much experience. But most of your experience and skill will just come from seat time. Drifting does take a lot of patience and a lot of practice, but like I was saying, if that over there is too hard for you, you can always come back over here and do figure eights. Once you can hold three figure eights around these two crates, um, you know, back to back, then I would say go ahead and move on to something else. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys an example of holding a line here. So this is another way you guys can practice holding lines so you can get good. So come right here and you just want to get consistent. You want to get yourself consistent at holding three figure eights back to back around these two crates and once you can do that i'd say you're ready to move on to the real world and you know really start getting some insane drifts down also if you guys want to see a video on how to do a 360 on wheel um i learned how to do 360s on wheel recently and i can definitely you know help you guys with that so let me know down below in the comment section if that is something that you guys would like to see you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure you guys would be pretty interested in that because 360s on wheels are, you know, absolutely amazing. So, yeah. But as you guys can see, I'm pretty consistent out of holding my figure eight. So I'd say that, you know, for somebody like me, obviously, you know, I'd be ready to go out into the real world. So that's what you want to do. And if you guys also look at these lines here, you can kind of see these pink lines. If you can maybe try to challenge yourself to stay in them, like, for example, you could try to like stay in these pink lines while doing your figure eight. That would probably help you with um, your precision also when it comes to steering. But that's that. Now let's go ahead and look and see what else is on the list. That may be the end. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Well, it looks like that is the entire list. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully I didn't miss anything important in this video. If you guys feel like I need to make a part two, let me know down below in the comment section. But with that being said, man, I hope you guys really did enjoy this video. This has been your boy Ty Skids playing Forza Horizon 5. And today I showed you guys how to drift on wheel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.